kill him and release Barabbas. Pilate argued with them because he wanted to release Jesus. But they kept shouting, Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him. Crucify him. Crucify him. Crucify him. What crime has he committed? said Pilate. But the mob shouted louder and louder, demanding that Jesus be crucified. Crucify him! Crucify him! Crucify him. Crucify him. Two others, both criminals, were led out to be executed with him. When they came to the place called the Skull, they nailed him to the cross. One of the criminals hanging beside him said, So you're the Messiah, are you? Prove it by saving yourself. But the other criminal said, Don't you fear God? We deserve to die for our crimes. But this man, Jesus, had done nothing wrong. Then he said, Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus replied, I assure you, today you will be with me in paradise. Are you seriously going to do this, you Jesus freak? You're delusional. Why would you even believe in something that's like imaginary? He rose again? <laughs> I bet he'd even die. How could you do this to our family? How could you let our reputation go down like this? Why do you waste all your time going to church, praying, trusting the God you don't even know is real? You're throwing your life away by doing You're letting this. us all down. Peace. Be still. <sighs> do you accept Jesus as your Lord and Saviour? I do. Do you choose to trust him for the rest of your days? I do. Upon that confession, we, we baptise you in the name of the Father, the Son, and, and the Holy Spirit. Spirit. But very early on Sunday morning, the women went to the tomb. They found that the stone had been rolled away from the entrance. They went in, but they didn't find the body of the Lord Jesus. As they stood there, puzzled, two men suddenly appeared to them, clothed in dazzling robes. The women were terrified and bowed their faces to the ground. The men said to them, Why are you looking among the dead for someone who is alive? He isn't here. He is risen. The King is alive. I feel like resurrection to me kind of represents how like Jesus gives us the authority to like live like him and like how he loves us so much that he wants us to like walk as he did and like spread the message in a similar way because people always say like um, the resurrection power and the same power that raised you from the dead lives in you so I feel like it kind of destroys any limitations you have or, um, I know I'm a Christian but can I really heal this person is, like, is there a really point in me praying because you know only Jesus can do it but I can't my prayer means nothing it kind of reminds you of like, you have power and you can't really give it power to someone who you don't love and trust. But like, if you like really put your faith in Jesus, he'll put, he puts his faith in you as well. To like, trust that you're you're walking this, try to walk in the same way he did, like best ability. And like when you like share the gospel, you won't be like have fear. And like if you're praying for someone, you can kind of have like more faith because you're knowing that like the same power, like the Holy Spirit is in you. I feel like the resurrection means we kind of like represents like God's eternal love. Even though it's like quite a basic answer, I feel like it represents like how much he loves us, the fact that he was willing to die and like take all that pain and suffering just for us. And I feel like we're eternally grateful for like the fact that he took all of our sins and everything, like just died for us, for so that we can be made new in him and have a chance of like being born into a new life.